हेलो वेलकम टू द वीडियोस ऑन सिक्योरिटी ट्यूब डॉट नेट यू आर वाचिंग क्रिप्टोग्राफी वीडियो सीरीज एंड द करंट वीडियो इज ऑन पब्लिक की क्रिप्टोग्राफी द मेन प्रॉब्लम फेस्ड बाय सिमेट्रिक की क्रिप्टोग्राफी वाज द की मैनेजमेंट सेंडर एंड रिसीवर हैव टू आइदर पर्सनली मीट विथ ईच अदर फॉर एक्सचेंजिंग द की और दे हैव टू बिलीव ऑन सम कुरियर सर्विस विच इज अ सिक्योर्ड कुरियर सर्विस फॉर ट्रांसफरिंग द कीज the former is not feasible always and it is not scalable at all and the latter has obvious vulnerabilities that a uh, eve which is a eavesdropper can also eavesdrop on the key before going into details about public key cryptography first let's see what is one way function which is a building block for public key cryptography so in a one way function given x it is very easy to find f of x but given f of x it is very hard to recompute x value again or as a example if you are given a plain text it is very easy to compute the encrypted test text from the plain text but given a encrypted text or given a cipher text it is very hard to find the plain text again can be a simple example of one way function or even a practical example can be given a wine glass if you break that wine glass into small pieces it is very easy to break wine glass into small glass pieces but given the those broken small glass pieces you cannot recreate very easily the glass again or it is computationally or finitely difficult to create that glass again another kind of function which is very important for public key cryptography is tap door one way function it is again a building block for public key cryptography in tap door one way function given x it is very easy to compute f of x but given f of x it is very hard to recompute x again but there is one more property that along with f of x if you have given some more secret y then with f of x and y it is finitely easy to re recompute x again as an analogy you can take a rolin watch example if you are given a rolin watch it is very easy to disassemble the watch into small parts so given x it is very easy to recompute f of x but given f of x or given this small parts of the watch it is very difficult to reengineer the watch again but along with this small parts of the watch if the watch repair guide is also given to you then with the parts and watch repair guide it is finitely easy to re reengineer the watch again so given f of x and some more secret y it is finitely easy to recompute the original message x so these are trap door one way functions it is very easy to go in one way in that door but it is very difficult to come back from that trap door but if you know some more secret like a key then you can easily come out that or come out of that trap door so in one way functions it was finitely impossible in a given amount of time to recompute x given f of x but in trap door one way functions given f of x and some more secret it is finitely easy to compute x again here are those two guys who invented public key cryptography whitfield diffie and martin hellman those two guys first solved the problem of key exchange now with public key cryptography alice and bob ha have no need to meet each other for exchanging the key and they can exchange the key over the public media itself and how exactly this public key cryptography works understand the working of public key cryptography in detail take an analogy of lock now this lock is having two keys it is a special lock which which are which has two keys with the help of first key you can lock it and with the help of second key you can unlock it so if you have given only first key you will be only able to lock the lock but you cannot able to unlock it for unlocking it you need the second key or you can or given the second key also you can lock the lock but for unlocking it you need the second key or with the help of first key you can lock it with the help of another key you can unlock it so that's the basic funda behind public key cryptography so any message can be encrypted with public key and it can be decrypted with private key so every user will be given two keys first will be his public key and second will be his private key public key will be known to everyone or public key is a universally known key but private key is known to that person only now the message which is sent to the so sent to that person say alice will be encrypted with alice's public key which is known to everyone 
but that message can be decrypted with Alice private key only. So if Bob wants to send some message to Alice, Bob will encrypt that message with the help of Alice public key and he will send that message to the Alice over the shared medium. Now the eavesdropper Eve will be able to check that message but he will not be able to decrypt that message even if he, is, he has the Alice's public key he will not be able to decrypt that message for decrypting that message one needs Alice private key and which is at Alice only so only Alice will be able to decrypt that message not even Bob or not even Eve another important property of this private key and public key is given a public key it is very difficult to derive the private key or it is computationally difficult to derive private key given a public key. So every person will be having two keys, one will be his pri private key and another will be his public key. His public key will be known to the universe. Anyone who wants to send the message to Alice has to encrypt that message with Alice public key and send it to Alice. No one in between will be able to decrypt that message because that message will be decrypted with only Alice's private key which is with Alice only or in other words encryption is very easy decryption is very difficult simple and day to day analogy for public key cryptography can be mailbox analogy in mailbox anyone can drop a mail there is no restriction or there is no key exchange for dropping a mail but for opening the mailbox only Bob has his key so with the help of Bob key only Bob will be able to open the mailbox and read the letters. This is exactly like a public key cryptography. The public key for Bob is open. Anyone can write the message and drop it into Bob's mailbox. But the private key is only with the Bob and only Bob will be, op will be able to open the mailbox and read the letters. After understanding different examples and how exactly public key cryptography works, let's formalize the algorithm for public key cryptography. The step one is Alice and Bob agrees on public key crypto system. Step two is Bob sends Alice his public key. Now this transfer can be open because the public key or Bob's public key is known to everyone. Third step is Alice encrypts her message using Bob's public key and send those encrypted message to Bob again. Bob will decrypt Alice's message using his private key. The point to notice the messages which are encrypted with Bob's public key can be decrypted with Bob's private key only. So the messages sent by Alice can be decrypted only by Bob and no one else. Now if some authority creates a database of everyone's public key then the above algorithm will be even more simpler because now Bob does not require to send Alice his public key but Alice can simply copy that public key from the database. So algorithm will look like Alice gets Bob public key from the database. Alice encrypts her message using Bob's public key and sends those messages to Bob and Bob decrypts Alice's message using his private key. Now the first step where Bob was sending his public key to Alice is now eliminated and Alice will simply copy that public key from the database. A cryptographic algorithm discussion cannot be complete without discussing the pitfalls and problems in that cryptographic algorithm. Similarly, public key cryptography has some problems. The first problem is it is computationally expensive. So compared to symmetric key, key cryptography, the public key crypto systems will be comparatively very slow because they are computationally expensive. The second problem is those algorithms are vulnerable to chosen plain text attack. Now the public key cryptography, the public key is known to everyone. So Bob's public key is known to everyone. Now if along with Alice, if eavesdropper Eve is also present, then Eve can actually create all the encrypted text messages for all possible plain text messages. So if there are some n finite n number of plain text messages, then Eve will pre-compute all encrypted text messages with the help with the help of Bob's public key and now when Alice is sending any packet to Bob with the help of this pre-computed database Eve will be able to find out what exactly Alice want Alice is sending to Bob now these kind of known plain text attacks or chosen plain text attacks will be possible 
only if the number of n the n is finitely small if n which is a possible plain text messages can be infinitely big then this chosen plain text attacks attacks will not be possible or I, or, or I will say they will not be as simple as in the other case that's it for this video on public key cryptography thank you practically uh, neither symmetric key cryptography nor public key cryptography in its original sense is used generally many applications use some hybrid key cryptography i will be explaining hybrid key cryptography in next video keep looking for more cryptographic videos on securitytube.net thank you